Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Feature Friday. As usual, my name's Bobby. This week we're talking about a calendar update that I saw come across the board that I definitely wanted to show folks. We're changing up how we handle all day updates. We've added a couple UI elements and we've also uh, made it better on the ticket view as well. So save you some time. Yeah, we have a calendar view tab. If you're new, uh, we cover calendars and a uh, bunch of other videos, but in the context of this one, we're just going to be talking about all day events. So uh, if you head to the calendar tab, uh, what you're seeing on your screen right now is a representation of the old way we did things as well as the new way we're doing things. Uh, when you needed to create a all day appointment to block out uh, time for yourself or somebody else at your shop or your business, you had to create this huge block where you had to enter a start time and an end time and you had to make sure um, that you had the times all correct with these sliders. Well, now we've added a checkbox that allows you to quickly just select the date and it will default to the current day and the well, we assume as well when you check all day that the end date is that day as well, but you can independently change them as you see fit. So an old all day event would look like this. Now um, we are making use of the all day section at the top of the page. <clears throat> and what you can see here is this is what a single all day event looks like. And then this is what a multi day all day event looks like. It will bridge across the, the days along the top. So again, this is the old way. When you check all day now, uh, it won't do this. It'll go up along the top. It, you could, in theory, still create one of these blocks if you liked that. You just would ignore the all day check mark and do what you used to do by entering start date, choosing a time, selecting an end date, and choosing a time and saving. So that's what the calendar view looks like. Uh, just as a side note, we've had this all day section for some time, but we really weren't using it too well. So now it'll work uh, as everyone would expect. By the way, I know my representation's only showing repair shopper appointments, but this works with Google and uh, Office 365. So both the calendar integrations will interface with this um, and they'll do two-way sync updates and all that stuff that the calendar already does work with the all day updates. Uh, on to tickets. So. Uh, the ticket change is a little bit smaller, but I think it's it's useful. So uh, what you see here is an old uh, appointment that was created. And then below that is an all day appointment that was created where it shows the date and then the fact that it's all day. And then below that, there is a new tile that we've added that will show the start date with a plus sign. That's an indicator that the all day event is going across days. So you'll also see here dates. So in this case, it's October 7th to October 8th. Uh, again, pretty subtle UI change, but I think it's pretty valuable because now you don't have to click into the calendar from here uh, to see how long something's going. Um, and then all day events uh, are working more in line with what people were expecting of the calendar. So that is the update in a nutshell. Uh, once again, uh, there is now an all day selection here that will speed the creation of all day events up. We've cleaned up how they're represented when you're using the all day checkbox in the calendar. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys this. Um, it's already a time saver for me. Um, so I hope people make the same use of it. And uh, yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up that I'm super excited to talk about. And I know I'm kind of dangling a carrot here, but yeah, look forward to the next couple of months. Cool stuff on the way. I'll see you in the next one.